What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. My name is Abe and in this video I want to talk about moving data between storage devices in your Proxmox cluster. As we can see in this image, maybe you have a drive at 90% and one only at 10% and you'd like to spread out the load. Or maybe you have 10% left and you want to move it over to the 90% so you can upgrade this drive and physically remove it from your system. You can do that as well. And or let's say you have a Zeph pool set up and you'd like to move all your data for all your virtual machines to your Zeph pool uh, drives, which could, will also include other nodes, which will then allow you to take this machine offline without losing any of your data or your availability. So then you can upgrade that system, change that system, maybe change out a fault driver, whatever. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so now there's two ways to do it depending on if we are talking about a container or we're talking about a virtual machine. If we're talking a, about a virtual machine like this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it under the other like pop out menu tab. It's gonna be under hardware. And so under our hard disk, we can see that this one is set to the Zeph pool for this virtual machine at this size, 32 gigs. Now you're gonna go up to disk action, move the storage to your next preferred place. So we would like to take this from the Zeph pool to the local virtual machine. You'll click that, click delete source, which will get rid of this Zeph pool uh, hard disk, and then just have it on the local disk hard disk, and you'll click move disk, and that will move it to your other location for you, thus freeing up our Zeph pool to allow us to upgrade our hard drives within our machines. Now it's slightly different for a container. There is no hardware tab because it shares it with the root Proxmox install. So you're gonna go to the resources tab, the root disk like this one is also on the Zeph pool and instead we're gonna click volume action at the top, move storage and do the exact same thing. So those are the two main ways to move your virtual machines from one storage location to the other so you can perform upgrades. You might come across this issue where, hey, one of your uh, storage devices just is full, right? And now you're like, oh, this is my first time upgrading my home lab. How do I move these around so I don't lose any of my data? This is one way to do it. So I just wanted to show that in a quick video for you guys today. I also do have some common errors on our website article that you may run into, like VM is locked with Snapshot 500. Go check up our website for that or an unable to delete a volume. And that will be a Snap 500 lock as well, slightly different. And I have those commands on our website of how to fix those errors if you run into them because I have seen them be a common issue. Uh, this video is nice, quick, and fast. I just wanted to put this information out there for you and anyone that may be coming across this issue in the future. But thank you for watching. I'm prolonging this video. Abe signing off with LTH.